Alright, hey everybody, back for another tutorial. This time I'm not doing Crash Bandicoot stuff, I'm actually doing Rayman stuff. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to do Rayman's glide ability. Uh, this is actually going to be a very short but simple video. So, pretty much what we want to do is we want to create a variable. I'm gonna call it is hover. Hovering. All right. Uh, we're gonna want to pull the jump down here. I'm gonna pull this out, and we're gonna wanna. Um, first of all, uh, we're gonna wanna actually. We're gonna want to not check that. We're gonna check if he's falling already and if you this is going to be the toggle like from uh, Rayman 3 rather than the hold from Rayman 2 so if he's currently not falling we just jump like normal um, other than that we're going to do this um, now this is going to check if he's hovering, and if he is currently hovering, we're going to stop his hovering, and then we're going to pause timer by function name, and that's where our new thing comes in. We're going to add event, event uh, hover, and then here we're going to do set timer by function name and inside that we're going to want to do 0, .0. zero. Okay, actually let's make it a little bit quicker and here we're going to you know type in event hover alright cool and inside that we're going to do launch character and we're going to override z or else this will it won't work properly uh, we're gonna actually we're gonna set it to negative 10 just to test it out all right and then we're gonna want to type that in so now if we jump you know a normal jump right there right but if we do it well in air he now does that uh, so I can get a better feel of it. I'm going to actually set up a better player controller. Alright, that's a better controller. So here, here's a better look at it. That's way exaggerated, but you know, get the point. Um, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to set hovering in here. So now the toggle works properly. Um, another thing we're going to need to do, we're going to want to drag out event on landed. And in here we're just going to want to set hovering to but actually, I'm going to make this a little cleaner and put it in event, event stop hover. Um, so what we can actually do is, actually I want to do cut that stuff instead of deleting it. All right, uh, we'll just do that so we can reuse it. All right, now it should work properly. You can toggle it and if you f land while doing it yay it works all right now a better value for this is like probably like yeah almost negative 75 yeah there we go that's a tad bit better you can mess with that however much you want and um you know, while, while I'm at it making this stuff, I'm actually going to 
to do a little bonus thing and we're actually going to promote this to a variable uh, call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it vector 3 hover vector and by default I'm actually going to make it a bit more drastic there we go 95 um, I'm gonna add the um, wind cyclone stuff from Rayman 2. So what we're going to want to do is create a new blueprint call it BP Wind Cyclone or whatever you want to call it. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a collision area uh, box collision and we're going to want to make V3 box extents and change that to a vector and by default we want it whatever the box is okay that's 32 by 32 by 32 okay and it, in the construction script we're going to want to pull this out and we'll set its extents to this all right now that we got that set up we're going to want to Uh, we're going to want to get overlap with this. Uh, begin overlap. We're going to want to do a quick little branch to make sure it's the player. Uh, we can just get player pawn in here. Alright, if that's true, we're now going to set this. Um, what we're now going to uh, cast to third person character. Uh, we're going to call that. Um, as this, we're going to set the hover vector to a uh, positive value. Uh, we'll probably actually just set it to like 200. Um, but if you leave this, uh, we'll set it back to its... Uh, set it back to its default we're gonna want to do this so it doesn't check if like I don't know maybe you threw your fist um, and all of a sudden it's like oh you've left but anyways uh, I think the value was 95 that I said yeah all right all right now we can um test this out Really, you want to, you know, a mesh in here to be able to make something cool. But for now, this is going to be it. All right, now you got this normal thing. So now you can go up into this, and the other ones over here. All right, cool. Um, yeah, there's the mechanic. Uh, there's the uh, hover mechanic from Rayman. Uh, you know, just Rayman uh, and the uh, Cyclone as well uh, you probably want to put something in here to actually show that there's a Cyclone but uh, that's the end of this tutorial um, tune in next time for whatever I decide to make next um, anyways uh, bye